Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Wherever you are, or whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's my pleasure to present to you today for our next installment in the Things You May Have Missed in Elden Ring series, part two of Volcano Manor. Straight away from the site of Grace where we killed the Godskin Noble in last video, we're gonna hop up the lift right here and start looting the upper level of the temple. As you're running around the top here, you can grab a Golden Rune 9, and then you want to head outside just here. And from this balcony, you can hop off the ledge into the lava pools below. Take out the fire slugs here and grab the loot, and then you can activate the summoning pool. Continue along this very treacherous road, being careful not to fall off as you're dealing with the fire slugs. You can grab a furl calling finger remedy from the edge of the cliff here, then hop down below. And as you're working your way up the mountain, you may very well see lots and lots of Lord of the Rings memes. Try throw Elden Ring, etc, etc. Which I must admit, did make me chuckle the first 10 or 20 times. Do love a good Mount Doom reference. Continue further along and you'll find the toughest abductor virgin ever. She's got about 6,000 health, maybe even 7,000. And she can very easily two-shot you if you're not careful. Which is why I'm healing even after the smallest amount of damage. Feel free to just run past her if you are struggling with her. She doesn't drop any crazy good loot, just 3,000 runes. Once you're done there, you can hop through the window into this room here. Then you can open the door into the next area. But before we go through, climb all the way down this ladder. At the bottom is some drawstring fire grease you can grab. And then once you've dealt with the enemies in this room, you can go into the cell at the end of the room and get the Missionaries Cookbook 6. This cookbook will allow you to craft holy proof dried liver. Now you can go back up the ladder and out the door that we just opened. There'll be a man serpent in front of you here. Once you've dealt with him, make your way up the stairs and into the next room. Deal with that enemy and then you can take this lift down. This has now opened a shortcut for you back to the temple site of grace that we activated after killing the godskin boss. Now you can take the serpent's amnion that we found at the end of the last video and show Raya that this is what she was born in. These games are so disgusting. This is nearly as bad as eating the fucking umbilical cords in Bloodborne, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> So exhaust the dialogue of both Lady Tanith and Raya to progress their quest lines, and then we'll carry on with Volcano Manor. There's one item I very nearly forgot to point out. So take the shortcut lift all the way back to the top, go out of the room to the right, back the way we just came and take out the man serpent again. Now you'll be able to drop off the right hand side ledge here and grab yourself the Crimson Tear Scarab. Hop down and you're now back at the site of Grace. Now that we've done that little detour, we'll move on to the next tip. Take the shortcut lift once again, and this time as you're heading up, keep an eye on the wall in front of you because there will be a hidden room. Roll into it, and then hopefully what just happened to me doesn't happen to you. I mean, what the hell is that? I just decide to roll through the lift and die. Goodbye, Runark. Thanks, game. So I'll be more careful this time, and now we can roll into the room. Here we are. Take out the putrid corpse, and you can get a stone sword key. Then hop out the window here and just round the corner by the pool of lava, you can get a somber smithing stone five. And now, as long as you've been progressing Raya's quest line, when you come into this room here, you'll see her looking very defeated on the floor. She will ask you to kill her, which is heartbreaking. Don't do this. Let's let her quest line play out and we will hopefully find a way to help her as we progress through Volcano Manor. Now you can head out of that room and climb up this ladder. There'll be a man serpent and a load of explodey head putrid corpses. So be super careful as you're taking them out because they will explode on you and cause a load of poison buildup. About halfway along this room, you can run down the head of this statue and get the commoner's headband. And then you'll be faced with a fire whip man serpent. Very carefully take him out. Then you can continue heading through this next room here. Open the doors and there'll be a load more putrid corpses and a load more man serpents. Once they're all dead, you can get the man serpent ashes from just here. Then head to the top of the room and take out the man serpent sorcerer. Through here, out on this balcony, is the portal to the last boss for this area. We're not going to go through here because it will lock us out of a big chunk of the Volcano Manor quest lines. We'll miss out on some awesome rewards and all of these NPCs will pretty much disappear. So leave that for now, head back the other way, head up another flight of stairs and out the western exit to this room. You'll find a stone sword gargoyle, which we will activate and we'll go through here in the next tip. There's two different areas here that we need to loot and you can't do them both at once. 
So we'll drop down onto the cage here and do this way first. Very carefully drop down this series of cages. Just here, I'm going to equip my bow to deal with this bloody sorcerer enemy. He can be an absolute pain knocking you off the ledge if you don't have any ranged attacks here. Once he's dead, very carefully hop onto the wooden beam, then jump on some more metal cages. Try and very carefully make the jump onto this little sticky outy wooden beam here. And now you should be able to safely drop down onto the floor. Deal with all the enemies that will charge you. And then towards the western end of the room, you'll get a seed bed curse out the other way you'll get the ash of war royal knights resolve and now you can head up these stairs and open these doors and this will give you a shortcut back to the main area of volcano manor and patches will be in front of you so now that you've opened that shortcut come back down the other way again all the way to the other end of the room and head up these stairs there'll be yet another abductor virgin in front of you and once you've taken her out you can come and loot a somber smithing stone seven from this ledge and we're done in this area, so we're going to teleport back and go and visit the other side of the Stone Sword Key Room. Just before that, I'm going to teleport back to the main Volcano Manor site of Grace and speak to Lady Tanith about Raya's absence. She will give us a tonic of forgetfulness, which is one of the possible ends to Raya's questline. I would advise not doing this though, don't give her this tonic. Now head back to the temple and take the wooden lift shortcut, past all the man serpents that we just fought, and make your way back to the entrance to the stone sword key room. This time, instead of having, hipping, this time, instead of hopping down onto the metal cages, turn right and you can jump off the ledge here. Be very careful to fall, not jump. Jump off the ledge here. Or you will just yeet yourself to death. Now you can go in this room and either kill or ignore the man serpent with the whip here. Then up the stairs, you can deal with this sorcerer. Grab yourself a dagger talisman from this corpse. And then drop down and get a rune arc from this corpse. Try and not get killed by the sorcerer here, and you're done. So I'll meet you back for the next tip. This last one's a biggie, and I've been very excited to show this to you. Take yourself back to the site of Grace at the Temple of Eagle. Head down where the Fire Monk is. Once you've dealt with him, come over to the corpse where we looted a somber smithing stone quite a while ago. If you're very careful, you can drop down onto the ledge below. You'll take a bit of damage, but not enough to kill you. Now you can drop down these series of stone ledges, and you'll come to this area with a few bats. You may have already been here if you opted to be killed and teleported by the Abductor Virgin at the bottom of the Rhea Lucaria Academy. However, if not, this is the other way to get here. Take out all the bats and loot the few items you see around. There is nothing of note, just some smouldering butterflies. Then when you're done, hug the wall and come through this little cave tunnel here. There's a few more bats along here. And then when you get to the end, there's a series of ledges to hop down. Be super careful not to fall too far and end up headfirst dead in the lava. Clear out the few fire slugs in the next room to come to another series of stone edges you have to fall down. And I'm just going to demonstrate here what happens if you do this wrong. This obviously this was intentional. I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't just fall off and die. That would be so silly. This was totally deliberate just to show you what not to do. So we'll now speed run back through that area. And this time I'll do it correctly. I'll do it properly, obviously, because... And that's what I was going to do anyway. Uh -huh. Then when you make it to the bottom here, you can take out these two enemies at the bottom and at the top of the stairs respectively and go and light a sight of grace. So now that you've lit the subterranean inquisition chamber site of grace, there's a few items to loot and then we can go and find a hidden boss. So from here, you can hop down into these pools of lava. There's a bunch of fire slugs to take out and you can also get a smithing stone six from right over in the corner here and then a smithing stone four on top of this pillar sticking out of the lava. Now head through into the southeast, and when you walk to the end of this cave, the floor will collapse and you'll drop down. You can loot an absolute ton of budding cave moss, and then as you progress the other way, you'll come to a wall of boss fog. Through here is a duo boss fight with two abductor virgins. However, they've got like a quarter of the health of some of the other abductor virgins that we've fought so far. So they actually die incredibly quickly. Once you murderize them, you'll get the Inquisitor's Girandol. What the hell is that? You'll get that thing. You fucking trident. And it will take you out into Mount Gelmir. So feel free to hop down the rocks here. I'll grab myself 10 arrows that I somehow missed the first time I was here. 
And that's it, we're completely done. The only thing left to do in Volcano Manor now is the invasions to progress the quest lines and then the final boss. And we'll revisit that separately once we're far along enough in the game that we've done the invasions. As always, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it useful. Please subscribe if, if you're not. Please subscribe if you're not already. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.